Hello, welcome to my next Let's Play. I know this is not a Zelda themed video series, but I am going to still be doing some Zelda videos while doing this. I'm cleaning the Sheikah Stones, a weekly Zelda mailbag, hopefully, if I get enough questions. But anyways, this is Resident Evil 4. Or should I try and do it like that announcer does? Resident Evil 4. I don't know how bad that sounded. I'm gonna hope it doesn't sound too bad. Anyways, he he has some crazy voices that he does. It's quite impressive. I'm gonna turn the TV off. Uh, nobody's home, but they left the TV on. It's always nice. Um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know if I like it better than any of the Zelda games. Well, besides like Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, which was garbage, but uh, definitely one of the best GameCube games. And it's unfortunate that I get ported onto every single thing ever made. This is the Wii version, which I'm regretting doing a little bit because I am kind of lost in the controls a bit. I'm trying to remember how to play the game. It's been interesting. Anyways, Resident Evil 4 is by far the best Resident Evil game in my opinion, and that's why I decided to let's play it. After this, I will return to something Zelda related. I may even start a Zelda handheld let's play at the same time as this. Uh, most of this video is just a cutscene leading into the game, so I will just kind of like let this be my intro. And the next video, I will begin some actual gameplay, so until next time, stay tuned. hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo. Who are you, really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out.